Hey everyone, it's Ravenous Kells. Yeah, I'm sorry if that title or <laughs> intro is getting very lame. <laughs> I just feel like there are probably at least one or two people who are new to this channel or my channel and they just have no idea who the frick I am. So, hi, <laughs> I'm Kelly. Yay, yeah, 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 yeah. I wanted to talk about health. Yep. Health, health, health. It's a very big, big issue in America, of course, and of course, other places care about healthcare and all these other issues, obesity, you know, stuff like that. But the US isn't doing its job. And I might be scaring you with this commentary, but it's the truth. And hopefully it'll change the way you eat or what you eat and how you live your life, how you choose to you know, live your lifestyle and what you do with your body, like exercise or, and so on. I mean, me personally, my only exercise is basketball, even though I don't play as much as I used to, but I played a couple days ago and I was out of breath. I was so out of shape and it was just horrible, but I had a good time and I was sore from head to toe. <laughs> yeah, my head was sore, how weird. So, there, there's a lot I could say for this commentary, but I'll cut down to the most important points, at least I think so. So, let's see. You are eating shit, basically. <laughs> everything is processed. There's no such thing as no processed food. Like, everything. Uh, the way animals are being raised and taken care of in farms are not natural. They are being fed these specific litter thingies like I wouldn't call them litter but I guess it is like I said I really think it's shit and you should too because if you're not informed about this then you're just literally eating poop so not literally so they give them these unnatural feedings they put sometimes yeah you could say steroids it's like steroids it makes the animal grow a lot faster than normal like within time span let's say a chicken it usually or a pig actually a pig takes like months and months for it to become developed and you can eat the pig but with the food that it eats what it's being fed there are even websites and companies who develop these kinds of feedings for specific animals so that they can grow faster and be more mature when they're actually not mature. And by mature, I mean like their body parts are maturing when they're actually really not. <laughs> so that's the fucked up part about our how we're raising animals. You know, they're being mistreated as well. There's not a lot of space for them to live. They live next to their poop and they eat bad stuff that they're not supposed to eat and cows like they're cute and all they really are but what their their farts are polluting our air it's just everything about beef is not good i mean yeah it provides you iron and stuff and you need that because it produces blood but don't eat beef too often maybe like once a week or twice a week and you're set because Oh my goodness, for women especially, since they have their periods, you know, they lose blood, so they need to replenish that blood. But for men, you know, you guys don't shove your faces with meat, like hamburgers and all that stuff, because if you look at the meat, it's just, it's nasty. Like, it really is nasty. It's not natural. And yes, you can cook it and have it medium rare or whatever rare, but that doesn't make a huge difference. It really affects you. It affects your tummy and it's not as healthy as it can be and that's what i'm saying so everything even like fruits they it depends how you see this though like they copy the dna from a perfect banana and they reproduce the bananas like that <laughs> like they keep why do you think fruits are the same shape when you buy them they're not supposed to be just like how pancakes from mcdonald's should not be the same fucking shape when you make pancakes homemade they're not the same freaking shape you know that's like ugh. when they are perfectly like shaped that's how you know they're processed too oh. i don't know oh, somebody just opened my door
Oh, anyways. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, processed food. Not cool. Mm, canned food. Canned food is... It's alright. It, the only thing that's okay about it is that it can last you for a while. Especially if, like I said in my other video <laughs> about water bottles, if there was a natural disaster or a zombie apocalypse, then that's when canned food would be pretty nice. But other than that, the can and the food, eh, it gives it this metallic taste. And of course, the longer it sits in there, the worse that the food and the metal just like mix and coincide and they're all just like, yeah, together as one. <laughs> so you're half eating the can and half eating the food. <clears throat> but that's as if, if they really sit there for the longest time in the can. But, you know, Security everything is just processed. And even organic food, it's all about, like I said, competition. I didn't say that yet, but I'm saying right now, it's all about competition. And people think, oh yeah, if... You know, they come up with the idea of a different kind of, like, milk or eggs. Oh, organic. Then they make more money because it gives people the idea that, oh, this is more healthy. <coughs> Which, in some cases, are true, but some are not true. There are places that sell, quote-unquote, organic stuff, but until you look at the ingredients and, you know, the... I guess if you want to count calories or count whatever you want, you gotta look at those things because it's illegal to not provide that information on any food packaging. So just be on the lookout for that to just make sure that you're eating what you want to eat. So uh, I'm not saying organic foods are horrible, they're expensive, but I'm, I'm not saying, oh, don't eat organic food. It's just, that's just another way for companies to compete with regular processed foods you know so just keep that in mind when you're shopping you know shop at your local food stores like grocery stores you know the guy that owns it or the girl that owns it then help them out help your local food store out don't go to Safeway and be like oh yeah go to their organic section like seriously help out smaller businesses because they're normally the ones who don't actually process their shit they do it right so that's what I have to say about that. And uh, just want to let you guys know that lettuce doesn't do shit for you. So if you think you're eating salad and you're like, oh man, I feel so healthy. <laughs> like you're not full, first of all. It's not sustainable. It's, lettuce doesn't do shit for you. It really doesn't. <laughs> have spinach. Have broccoli. Have anything. Cook it how you want. Make sure you don't put too much oil on it. I know I'm being like a cookbook right now or something, but... I even try to do these things like I know I it's like hard for me too because I'm a college student and it's hard to get up and want to cook a good meal because you're just so tired of everything and you just want to eat anything that's already made you know processed food <laughs> fast food anything but for sure I always drink water always and sometimes I treat myself to a little like juice <laughs> or a little bit of soda if I'm feeling sick because 7-Up helps you because that lime and lemon in it but water definitely helps you poop <laughs> so yeah eat a lot of fiber look out for fiber labeled on stuff and uh just make sure you know what you're eating and what you're putting into yourself and do not consistently eat fast foods like McDonald's or Burger King's. And yeah, once in a freaking long while is okay. But if it's your daily meal and nothing else supplements you, then, oh, <laughs> then that's bad. So you need to start paying attention to yourself because obesity is a huge problem as well as just food in general in our freaking society because it helps you think when you eat good food like awesome food and yeah it's important to eat fruit too i know yeah it's processed as well but if you have a tree maybe you could grow some of your own fruit or go, like i said go to your local store and find the most weird weirdest shaped fruits you can find and eat that so Hope you guys enjoyed this commentary, and I hope you guys think about what you're eating, how you're living your life, and what you do to exercise, you know? Like, do di different things and go out and have fun as well, but be healthy because it really affects how you think as well, and how you perform wherever you are. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out!